most teams held their annual media day to kick things off, including the Toronto Raptors, who missed the playoffs last year for the first time in a non-COVID season since 2013. The summer was filled with rumors and some change of direction. Fred Van Vliet is gone. And just last week, a trade for Damian Lillard was reportedly close, but that didn't transpire. So let's take a look at some of the key storylines now heading into the year for these Toronto Raptors. The overarching theme for the Raptors is what direction is the front office going to take after missing the playoffs last season? Do the Raptors still consider themselves a win-now team? Pascal Siakam, OG Ananobi, Gary Trent Jr. could all be unrestricted free agents next summer so is that a situation Masai Ujiri and Bobby Webster are comfortable with or could we see any of the three traded in order to avoid a scenario where they leave for nothing similar to Fred Van Vliet's departure to the Rockets and of course so many years ago Chris Bosh leaving for the Miami Heat and the Raptors got nothing for it. Slam down! Well, Scotty Barnes promises to play a pivotal role this season. He's coming off an up-and-down sophomore year where his scoring kind of flatlined. His shooting efficiency took a hit as well. If the Raptors are going to raise their ceiling now and in the future, they're going to need Barnes to consistently put together the skills that have made him so highly regarded. Now, for the first time in five seasons, Nick Nurse will not be on the Raptors bench. Instead, it will be first-time head coach Darko Ryakovic leading the team. Expectations um, in Las Vegas aren't exactly high. Toronto's win total set at just 36 and a half. So what's next for this team? Well, here's what Masai Ujiri had to say this morning. In terms of contract, we've always, I think, taken care of our players here and we're going to see how um, this is going to start and play out. We have time uh, to discuss with them or uh, to uh, take whatever direction we have to take uh, with this team. But uh, we've made it clear that we want to compete, we want to play a certain way, we want to be selfless on this team, and that's what we're going to do. We do believe in Pascal. Uh, we do believe that um, a lot of our players didn't play the right way um, last year, and we want to see them play the right way. I said it that we were selfish. I'm not running away from that. Uh, we were selfish and we did not play the right way. So let us see it when we play the right way. Masai, you cited uh, selfishness as a reason this team struggled last season. I wonder, how does that transfer over to this season with all the changes that you guys have made this summer? There will be no selfishness this year. I'll speak for me personally. Like I've, I've never been a selfish player in my life. Um, always played the game the right way. Um, and, and, you know, that's from, from the first time I started playing basketball. You know, like just I've always been a team player. Um, all the things that I do on the basketball court, you know, it's about team. And um, I've always done that, like, my whole career. It could look different because I, I feel like I always have two people on me every time I'm on the court. So sometimes it might look like you shoot over two people, but it is what it is. I would say it's an energy drainer, you know. Um, sometimes out there it feels like it's every man for themselves, but that's what we just really got to change. It makes you feel more comfortable sacrificing for one another. Once you're moving the ball, playing with energy, uh, it helps our team. Uh, moral, making us happy, uh, knowing that you don't got to worry about anything else. And you can just play your game, and you know that the ball is going to come to you, and you're going to be able to play your game.